up guys it's freddy here one more time with another video with the next video to show you how you are going to build a blog site from scratch and how you are going to take it to success and make money online with it all right so in the previous video i showed you how to set everything up on your brand new uh wordpress site um, now i'm going to show you how to you know choose the theme that you want and install it and set it up and then go from there right and in, in the next video i'm going to show you um how to install the plugins and stuff like that but this video is going to be very quick just to show you how to install the theme right so uh you want to log in to your back office to your dashboard of your brand new site the one i have the one i bought earlier was uh, freedom training that info right so um if you follow the the videos uh, you can see how I bought the domain from scratch, um, you know, live in front of you and how I set up the hosting account with HostGator. Now, once you are logged into your dashboard, you want to come to appearance, right? That's where you are going to change things around on your site. So it looks different. Right now, I have the default WordPress theme 2014 that's the one that i'm using right now but if you want to you know take your time and, and and you know choose the one the right theme for you feel free to do that and you know what how, how, the way to go through all of the themes uh is to all right let me show you just go to appearance and then click on add new and then without typing anything in the search box just click on search unless you are searching for something more specific but if you want to see all of the themes just click on search without typing anything and you are going to see pretty much all of the themes that you can use for free and there's like about a thousand of them so uh, you can see here you have a lot of free themes that you can use you can also uh, you know pay for one for a better customized WordPress theme if you have money to invest then you know you might want to do that so you don't have to go through all of this research just to come up with the one that you like or the one that works best for you but um, you know you can also pay somebody else to do this for you I'm just showing you how to do it yourself right here really quickly so you can see there's a lot of themes free themes that you can use and let me just install one that um, just to show you then the process all right so let's see uh, we have so many here all right so let's go with this one right here so you click on the theme that you want you can preview the theme a little bit you know you can see what how it looks like kind of and you can read you know the description about the theme you can see you know the ratings and stuff like that and this looks like a good theme I was going to go with the default WordPress theme but maybe I want I'm going to change it just to show you how you can do that yourself if you were to decide to just use another theme besides the, the, the uh, default theme so I'm going to go with this one all right, so once you see the theme that you like, you click on install, you install it, and then, you know, it's very fast. You can preview the um, the theme on your site already. You can see there's nothing in it. So um, in here, once you see it or you preview it, you can activate it or not, or you can, maybe you didn't like it. So but uh, I'm going to activate this one all right so now I have that theme activated and we go back to our new site and click on refresh and you can see that's my brand new blog site right it, so far so good right and once you have picked the theme that you want I highly recommend you to delete all of the other themes themes that you're not going to use you know because that can uh, slow your site down uh, so what you want to do is pretty much theme details and 
click on it and then delete all right delete all, all of the themes that you are not going to use so in order to delete them you gotta click on it and then find the delete button on the bottom right and then delete that one and maybe save only one in case the uh, this theme you know me uh, starts messing up uh, you want to have a backup theme so maybe only have two themes under your appearance or themes uh, section all right so once you have activated the theme that you want you want to customize it so you can click here or you can click here uh, just go to the customize section and here you can change again you can change here the title and the description right so uh, I already have that you know it could be your domain name if you want or it could be just you know a name right and you can see the live preview right there but I'm going to leave it as it is right now you can also uh, I, I believe you know depending on each theme you know you could either have uh, words as your header or you can have an image um, you know one thing that you should know and understand is that each theme is not you know they come with different options you know one theme will let you do this and the other theme won't let you do that you know one theme will have more options and not the other this other theme might have might not have so many options so you need to understand that each theme comes with different things so this is why I tell you to do a research on the themes that you want and the themes that work best for you this is why I can you know show you um, I can pretty much you know tell you what theme to get or and stuff like that it, it is all up to you uh, I'm only showing you an example of what you could do alright so so you can change the title here and the in the tagline and then you can change the color of you know uh, I think this is for yeah this is for the the words over there and you can see you can change anything that you want maybe black maybe the way it was before I think it was good um, let's see let's just leave it at that all right or maybe just I'm uh, just gonna go to the default one all right so the background color uh, let's see let's go with black let's see what happens uh, it doesn't change anything I'll just leave it as it is uh, you can also have a background image right if you want to uh, and you can also have a, a static front page this is something that I don't really recommend you to have or to use uh, just leave that alone so it's like I said you know do your research on everything and, and go with what works best for you but if you want to do what I do follow exactly what I'm doing alright so um, so once you are done here with everything you want to click on save and uh, publish and pretty much you are done you know with your site uh, with your theme right some other themes are going to uh, give you more options you know like let me show you my uh, my theme as you can see I have a theme mine is uh, it's still a free theme but it's one of the best themes that I have found before uh, so far it's called Swift theme and this one gives you a lot more options as you can see uh, the theme that I, I chose here they don't really give me too uh, too many options to do a lot more stuff but anyways once you have installed your theme uh, you should be able to see the, the themes options under under appearance right and you can see right here asteroid options uh, that's the option for the theme that I have and here you can you know pretty much depending on on the theme you can change things around uh, you can see here you can uh, display a search box if you want to and on your main blog homepage you can either show you know uh, only you know you, you you don't want to show the full post on your home page but if you know if that's up to you if you want to or not you know so I hope I make sense here and appearance you can change the uh, header logo the icon 
you can change things around for the post you know just feel free to you know like I say you know just the way you are going to learn is by just doing it yourself and by making the mistakes that you need to make in order to learn so you know just feel free to you know look around and you know try things out test things out until you find the things that you like and the things that work the best for you so this is pretty much how you you know install you know a theme in how you set it up you know pretty much the, the process is simple you just gotta do it that's it so I just wanted to show you that in a quick video in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up all of the plugins how to set up your site for the search engines so you can get blogging as soon as possible alright so so far it's been all about setting up um, but don't worry we're getting to the part where we are going to start creating content and start crea creating blog posts start driving traffic to them and then you know we are going to make money with the revenue right we are going to build up that traffic so we can start making money you know we can start getting leads and you know and get traffic right so uh, I hope you like the video don't don't forget to leave your comments and your questions below and I'll talk to you on the next video. Thank you.